Hi there, and welcome to 10.6 Consulting. Let's have a look at the Projects tab in Primavera P6 EPPM. The Projects tab provides the primary pages for creating and managing projects. So I'll go ahead and click on the Projects tab. And when I do, you will find that there are seven pages associated with the Projects tab. We're going to take a brief look at the EPS page, Activities page and Team Usage page. We go into the EPS page. If I left click on the gear and click on Expand, that brings up the EPS table which consists of nodes, which are like folders, and then within a node you will have projects. Now you can display a wealth of data about each of the projects in P6 EPPM. The next frame is the Gantt chart. If I scroll over, I can see the projects on the Gantt chart, which all roll up to the node level. So I'm displaying here the Engineering and Construction node. And if I go to the bottom Details frame, we can see a number of pages or tabs. This will show me the project data associated with the currently selected project. If I left click on the gear and click on the eye icon, it will either remove or reinsert the page. And then I can save view. So that's the EPS page. I'm now going to select Heitung Corporate Park and then left click on the gear and select Open Project. With the project now open, I can go to the Activities page. The Activities page is the primary view used to manage the project's work breakdown structure elements, i.e. deliverables, related activities, milestones, and resource assignments. So if I left click on the gear and say expand, I see that I have an activity table which consists of work breakdown structure elements or deliverables. And then I have activities, which are the efforts required to produce those deliverables. That is the activity table. On the right, I have a Gantt chart which displays the activities, milestones, and also the relationships between the activities and milestones. That is the Gantt chart. Down below, I have the bottom details data, which will provide me information about which activity I have selected. Or if I have a WBS element selected, it will provide me information about that WBS element. Then I come to the Team Usage page. The Team Usage page allows you to view the usage of selected resources on an open project and display a spreadsheet and or histogram to see the levels of usage. So if I choose to expand, and I scroll down a little way, I come to the resource Paul Kim and I can see how his work has been progressing and how it's planned for the future. The blue are his actual hours that have already taken place, and the green is remaining work. The red is the limit line. That's the limit that he's supposed to work. If his allocations go above the limit line, they will appear as red histogram bars, showing him to be over-allocated. That is the team usage page. If you'd like to learn more about Primavera P6, then 10.6 offers some great online training courses. These courses are written by industry experts and offer you all the skills you need to get up and running as a P6 scheduler. For more information, visit our website at 10.6.com for full details on how to get started.